<laughs> it was one of those rare sunny days when Berlin could have been mistaken for Barcelona. With a backpack full of documents, you must have stared through the same glass door on Friedrichstrasse 180, as I did. In my best summer outfits. Because they say, first impression is the last impression. I didn't take that hidden elevator. Neither did I. Not because it was too slow. But because I wanted to st spontaneously stumble onto you. So I could say, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? When did you get here? Where have you gone? Do you have an apartment yet? How much is the rent, dear? Can you answer this phone in German? Oh, my account is blocked, so next week I'll pay you in beer. From beer, I remember, under Tempelhof's scorching sun, we were sipping on hot Berliner Pilsner. Beads of sweat falling down our forehead. The only time in two years that we missed out on free pizza was when we decided to act polite instead. At that time, we had simply made eye contact. We had simply waved at each other. But when we first spoke, my heart skipped a beat when you told me that you had learned my language. My heart skipped a beat when you told me you were at my country during the earthquake. During the blast. During the festival. During the fast. Our conversation moved to private colleges in America and their exorbitant fees, to your unpaid internships slash vacation in Asia and talks about saving the bees. When you finally said, excuse me, please, seeing me struggle with that hot pilsner, you decided to hand me a cold Augustiner. Taste this, you said, plucking the top of that bottle with a lighter like it was some kind of a magic trick. You plucked me out of my world and brought me into yours. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Raju Adhikari. And my name is Colette Bergman. First of all, <laughs> First of all, congratulations uh, to all the graduates, MPP, MIA, and PhD, who are all going to rock the stage soon in their shiny scarves and their fancy outfits. And also congratulations to the professors, professors at Hertie, who have helped yet another cohort graduate. You had to deal with a lot of late submission requests, a lot of generic answers just to gain participation points, a lot of questions and emails that you are sure you had touched upon in class. So we genuinely want to thank you for the help and support to get us here. Congratulations to the Herdy staff, from communications to student affairs, from graduate team to courier services, from events to IT to cafeteria. You had to deal with many annoying emails, all with the same issues from us. Many times you had the pleasure to inform and guide us. Many times we had the pleasure to correct you. Yet, <laughs> yet we both survived to see this day, so congratulations to you as well. Then congratulations to all the partners, the families, and friends that have traveled from near and far to be in this room with us today. You might have had many sleepless nights. <laughs> you might have had many sleepless nights rereading and editing the stuff that we sent you, or you were just there for us to pour us a big cup of tea or coffee or anything stronger when we most needed it. So we really want to thank you for your care and support. We would also like to acknowledge uh, today's speaker, Dr. Ignatiev, uh, who made the effort to come and speak to us and to remind us the importance of academic freedom, for giving us an insight on the threat to academic freedom, both from inside and outside. Uh, at the end of the day, when everything is said and done, despite our degrees, despite what we aim to be and what we wish to do, if the sanctity, the freedom, and the growth of academic institutions are chained, then we cannot move forward. So thank you for coming and talking to us. Then we would also like to acknowledge some important characters in our lives that maybe couldn't be present in this room today. So for some of you, that might be your dog, your cat, your rabbit, your bird. For others, it might be the incredible shows on Netflix that you binge watch during the thesis. Shout out to our boy Aziz Ansari. For some, it was the opportunity in your career, in your field, in your respective countries 
that encouraged you to push forward, uh, push yourself forward and succeed. For others, it was the scarcity, the corruption, the hate, the crime, the rise of demagogues that pushed you to be that intellectual pioneer of change. And then we would also like to acknowledge our friends that started our Hurti careers with us, but that maybe took a professional year or have already graduated, because we are much more than a cohort. So you may be in Tanzania, in Costa Rica, in Nigeria, in India, in the US, or in Germany. You may have decided to abandon us for a Sciences Po or SIPA, but you are still a very big part of our Hurti experience, and you are very close to our hearts. Last but not the least, we want to thank the Hurti School, which has been more than a sum of its parts, which has become a safe space for all of us to be who we are, despite, regardless of what gender, religion, sexuality, background, philosophy we wish to be identified with. It has become a solace from the Berliner Schnauze, all the grueling bureaucracy and the language barrier. It became a place where we felt comfortable to raise issues and to discuss about everything and anything, whether it's in person or on Facebook. So we want to acknowledge Hurti for giving us, and we had to say this at some point, hashtag Hurti love. So for all the seen and unseen, human and non-human forces that have inspired you and that have conspired this celebration, this union, we would like to acknowledge them all with a big round of applause. So now we want to go to the actual speech, and how do we want to do this? So on the one hand, we're all soaked wet with hurty experiences, all the laughter, the memories, the nostalgia that has already begun, even though we haven't said our goodbyes yet. On the other hand, there are a plethora of things happening around the world that somehow willingly or unwillingly made us happy, angry, sad, mad, all these emotions that we experienced together in these two years at Hurdy. And then lastly, there's the premise of graduation. The, the premise of you and me and all of us walking out of this hall into the world without really knowing what we're going to do yet or where the world will take us. So it's a lot to talk about, but there's never the enough time, nor there's the best way to do it. So we would like to present you another piece of spoken word before we say goodbye. So just in case if people don't know what sp spoken word is, it's an oral form of art that includes poetry that is meant to be recited out loud. So the poem that we wrote is meant to represent every single one of you. And so when we say I, that's not me or Raju, that is any one of you. And when we say we, that is all of us. So just to keep that in mind. I come from the mountains. Some days they are shiny peaks, heaven and earth we call them. Some days they are walls. Beyond them is a world full of promise not everyone can reach for. I come from cities, each one with a different language, a different culture and tradition, in its pursuit of progress or while facing adversity, bound by a union. I come from the continent, where the shades of skin color and the flavors of food do not fit in a box. I can simply make my tortilla a spoon and scoop whatever deliciousness I can fit in my palm. I can simply slip into my dancing shoes and salsa to whatever techno beat is on. I am the Urdu, the Farsi, the Arabic, the Swahili, and all its beautiful phrases of love and peace. I am both belief and science, reason and religion, the Big Bang, the Big Man, the quiet book, the loud feast. I am the thick accent that you cannot make fun of, because yours is thicker than mine. <laughs> if you are Italy. I am India. If you are Colombia. I am China. You and I can fight on Facebook over gender rights and economic ties, over Kashmir and Palestine. Over who's more charming, Pierre or Parado? Over who's your favorite, Kaiser or Enderlein? But we are still part of the same International Affairs Club, the same EPPC troop. The same Data Nerds team, the same Desi Hurdy group. We both ran that half marathon, stride to stride. And when we're stuck at a math problem? We both blame the professor to protect our pride. There were events we both signed up for, but didn't show up. There were events we both showed up for, but didn't speak up. Because we, we are misrepresentation. We are misrepresentation as sub-Saharan Africa in our classrooms as women in our boardrooms, as immigrants in the fast lane of airport lines, as continents, as colors, as checkboxes, 
in people's stereotyped eyes. Because we, we are privileged. Despite our differences, yours is bound with mine. Because we, we are ego. Behind smiley faces, we are fighting with each other to shine. But we, we are also Berlin. So we had to knock down them walls. To pick up each other's baggages that we brought over from our worlds. At Herdy, we found it all. Between classrooms and parties and picnics and trips. Between handshakes and hugs and applauses and the kiss on your lips. All wrapped into small memories. Like when we both got locked out of the building with nothing but a pack of cigarettes. And we decided to puff the paper deadline into thin air. Or when we failed in our search for free food. But there was always someone in the kitchen who had saved some and was kind enough to share. Like when your Wi-Fi didn't get installed for three weeks. Or was it three months? And the library became your home. You were dipped in sweat and tears to ace that first essay. Without knowing that you would receive an 85 either way. <laughs> <laughs> or when you knocked back wine after each event, sneaking behind Mr. Furman's suspicious eyes. You thought you could forget with a few moscatos that the day is coming when you have to say your goodbyes. Like when you freaked out for the mood court. Reading between every stupid line. And when your country presentation seemed improbable, you simply migrated to someone else's country. Hoping that would be your way to shine. At Herdy, we lived it all. The fun, the fights, the sleepless nights. The after party, the pregame routine, the cheap Ryanair flights. That took you and me to places near and remote. Each one with a unique story, each one with a crazy anecdote. But every time we landed back here, it felt like home. If Berlin was our house, Herdy was that cozy room. A playground, a safe space, each of us walking in our own pace. To learn, to love, to explore and thrive, to question, to reason, to listen and to strive. Today, as you step out of this hall, hungry and hungover from all these speeches, you will once again hit that glass door at Friedrichstrasse 180. You will still choose to take the stairs. This time, when you see a face that you do not have these memories with, to whom you haven't had a chance to say, remember, we did this together, introduce yourself. Without your spoken resume, without sneaking in your cover letters, Prost your wine and tell them from your heart how confused you are. Show them how scared, how excited, how funny you are. So that later, when your elbows are sore and your diploma is dusty, you will smile remembering the last thing you did at Herty. Thank, Thank you. you.